Hey, how's it going? My name is Parker. I'm a motion graphics designer, and today I'm going to teach you how to use lights in Adobe After Effects. Now, lights in Adobe After Effects work pretty much just like lights in real life. You can change their intensity, either brighter or darker. You can open up their cone angle, have it real spot-like, or you can widen it out. And there's a number of different types of lights as well. Either spotlights or there's more ambient lights that will fill up an entire room. So let's get into it. Okay, so let's create a new composition. Uh, we'll make it HDTV for 10 seconds. And I'm just going to click on my composition window and say layer new solid. Okay, so we've got a royal blue here that looks fine. I'm just going to click make comp size so it's the same size as my composition. Hit OK. Okay, so now I've got a solid, which is basically, you know, just a two-dimensional plane. It's a, it's a rectangle of color, basically. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to scale it up. I'm going to make it a little bigger because this is going to act as a backdrop to shine the light onto. So I'm going to go down here to toggle down the transform parameters, go to scale. You can also hit S as a key um, to get there quicker. And I'm just going to increase this to, say, 200. Okay. Now, last thing I'm going to do on the solid is click this little box right here, a little cube, to make it a 3D layer. So what that's going to allow me to do is push it back in 3D space so that, you know, once I've done so, I can actually shine light from the foreground onto it behind it. So, again, lights work in 3D space. These aren't 2D things. So you're going to need to make any object that you want light to shine onto three-dimensional. Okay, so now we've got our backdrop set. Um, oh, actually, I need to push it back, sorry. So we're going to grab the position parameter here. Now that it's 3D, it doesn't have X and Y. It's also got Z right here, which is at 0, 0.0. So I'm just going to push that back. I'm just going to zoom out here. And I'm just going to wait till it pushes back just enough. So I've got it back to 970. Should be enough. Okay, now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to type up some text real quick to shine my light onto. So I could either hit Apple T or uh, just go over here and click on the type tool. And I'm just going to write text. OK, great. So I'm just going to center that with the cursor. OK, so now I've got my text in the foreground. I'm going to make it 3D, but I'm not going to move it. I'm going to leave it right where it is uh, so that there's some distance between the two. And you can see how much distance you have. Actually, if you go here to the active camera, and change it to top. So you're basically looking at your scene now from the top down as opposed to straight on. And if you zoom out, you can see that there's two lines here. One is the text and one is our backdrop. So if I click on the text here, you can see it's that one that's in the front and back there the big guy is our royal blue background. Okay, so I'm going to change back to the active camera. Zoom back in. Okay, and now I'm going to go ahead and create a light. So I'm just going to go Layer, New, Light. And it's going to give me a number of options. You've got different types. You've got Parallel, Spot, Point, and Ambient. Like I said before, a spot is going to be you know, similar to the lights I have here lighting me, where they're shooting directly onto one subject. And you really want to you know, make sure that where they're pointing is you know, in the right place, etc. They act like your average light. So we're going to go to Spot. And we're going to make sure that Cast Shadows is on. It's going to be a white light. And uh, you know all those other parameters look good. OK, so right away you can see that we've added some shadow to the edges of our background. Um, what we're going to want to do here is position the light uh, dead onto the text so that we can actually see the shadow behind it. Right now, it should be casting some shadows, but we haven't changed the text parameter in the material options to cast shadows. So just toggle that down. Turn it on, and you'll see right away that a, a shadow pops up on the background behind it. Um, now, another parameter that's kind of crucial here is if you're animating, say, uh, a title for a movie or whatever it is, um, you might want to go down to here and say accepts lights and turn this off. If you turn that off, what it's going to do is it's not going to read the light that's shining on it. Instead, it's just going to stay a text layer with that clean yellow so that you're not getting any shadows say, in the bottom of the T or something like that where you don't want it. Um, if you do want it, by all means, turn that on. OK, so I'm just going to toggle that back up. 
and now we've got our light shining on our background here. Uh, one cool thing with lights is that you can animate them just like every other element. Um, so you notice here if you, uh, if you toggle down in the uh, transform, it's got all the same parameters. Uh, point of interest, position, orientation. Let's do a quick uh, position animation here. So let's say at two seconds I want it dead on where it is. I'm going to turn on the keyframe uh, stopwatch. I'm going to rewind and change the keyframe here to the far left. And you'll notice that it, it keeps the same point of interest because I haven't changed that parameter. So it's actually going to go swinging by now. If I just scrub forward, you see that shadow in the background moving. And then let's keep it going to the right there. Cool. All right, so that's how you use uh, the basic lights in After Effects. You know, play around with it. Create a, you know, a composition similar to this one. Play around, see if you can get you know, a couple of different lights. Uh, sometimes if you create you know, a more in-depth uh, field instead of just one backdrop, you might need a couple to fill in. Um, and, that, and that's where some of those ambient lights and some of the parallels come into play um, with filling in more than just one backdrop. All right, well, I hope you learned something. Again, my name is Parker. Uh, send in your requests that you have to requests at mahalo.com. Have a good one.